This hack tip is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, network gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're getting a little promiscuous with wireless cards. Now, as part of our foundation series of Hack Tips today, I'm covering the fundamentals of wireless packet sniffing with kind of a practical approach here in Backtrack Linux with, well, my favorite, the Aircrack NG Suite. Soon we'll have you cracking your first encrypted wireless network, but first, it's time for the terms. Like a sleazy prom date, a network interface in promiscuous mode is one that gets action from everybody. Let's think about a network traffic as like a cocktail party. Picture Alice and Bob on a love seat chatting it up while Charlie is deep in conversation with Dave over at the bar. Meanwhile, Eve is sipping a Hendrix martini listening in on everyone's conversation. You see, in order for Alice to send a message to the Bob, she has to address it to him by his network interface card's MAC address, or Media Access Control address. Now this address is unique to every network interface on the planet. Bob's is going to be different from Charlie's, from Dave's, anyone else's. And on a hub-based network, Alice's message is going to be heard by everyone. By default, when Charlie or Dave hear a message addressed to a MAC address that isn't their own, their network interface is just going to go ahead and drop that frame completely. This is where promiscuous mode comes into play. You see, if Eve's network interface is in promiscuous mode, she doesn't drop the frames that aren't addressed to her. This is great for, well, packet sniffing. Say, if Eve is a network administrator attempting to debug a faulty network. Likewise, if Eve has, like, malicious intent, the same applies to, I don't know, eavesdropping. Now, promiscuous mode assumes a hub-based network, which is why we use switches today. They thwart this by only sending the messages to their intended recipients. Of course, there are ways around that, but that's a different hack tip. Now, that brings us to monitor mode. Now, monitor mode, or RF mon for radio frequency monitor, is one of six modes that wireless network adapters can assume. Similar to promiscuous mode, monitor mode allows the wireless network interface to sniff packets that just aren't intended for them. Now, unlike promiscuous mode, however, an interface in monitor mode can sniff packets from access points that they aren't even associated with. Well, I mean, as long as you're within range. Now, again, this is great for, say, an administrator trying to troubleshoot a faulty network or maybe on the darker side of the hats, uh, somebody with malicious intent, such as eavesdropping or cracking wireless networks. Now, it's important to note that not all wireless cards can assume monitor mode. Until recently, the Windows API didn't even support it. In just a bit though, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your wireless card in monitor mode and start packet sniffing in Backtrack Linux. But first, let's thank our wonderful sponsor. With more than 20 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service. Instantly streaming TV episodes and movies over the internet, members can instantly watch thousands of titles, streaming TV episodes and movies over a vast array of devices like the Microsoft Xbox 360, the Sony PS3 game console, and the Nintendo Wii console. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want anytime you want for one low monthly price. There are never any late fees or due dates. As a new Netflix member and a hack tip viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash HAK5 and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so they know we sent you. Now before setting your wireless card to monitor mode in Linux for the very first time, you're going to need to check its chipset compatibility. And thankfully, the Aircrack NG team has done a wonderful job on their wiki uh, going ahead and listing some of the most popular PC MCIA, card bus, express card, PCI, mini PCI, even USB adapters, which is great. I like this uh, as far as USB is concerned, this Encore adapter. It's got a raw link chipset. It's 802.11n. That works great. I'm also very fond of the Alpha AWUS036H. This one's got an RPSMA connector on it, so I can put like a bigger antenna on it. And it's got a Realtek 8187 chipset, which has great compatibility. Now, if you're not sure what your chipset is, really, it's just a matter of coming over to your terminal, and if it's, say, USB, going ahead and typing in LSUSB. Alternatively, if it was PCI, you'd type LSPCI. And I can see right here, I have the Realtek Semiconductor Corp RTL8187. I cross-reference that with the wiki and I know that I should be good to go. Alternatively, I could 
plug my card in, and as soon as that uh, happens, I can go ahead and run, say, DMESG, and get a whole detailed report of what's available. Now, actually turning your card into monitor mode is really just a matter of running Airmon TAC NG. So, Airmon TAC NG, we run, uh, give it the parameter start, and we tell it our interface. And in my case, this is WLAN 0. And I've gone ahead and done that, and I can see right here my real tech, and it says monitor, mo monitor mode enabled on MON0. So if I run IWconfig, you can see right here, MON0, mode, monitor. Now we can say issue arrow dump ng and our monitor interface and start listening to whatever's out there in the air. So arrow dump tack ng mon zero. And there we go. All of the BSS IDs and traffic going through and we could, you know, sniff possibly a four-way WPA handshake for cracking. But we'll get into that here shortly. Now, anyway, that's pretty much it. If it worked, it worked. If it didn't, well, then you may need to use a different driver or a different wireless card, but thankfully, between the Aircrack NG wiki and the Mad Wi-Fi site, there's a wealth of information on supported devices. Now, stay tuned, because coming up here on Hack Tip, Shannon will be enhancing Windows experiences, and I'll be diving into the command line essentials, as well as having you crack your very first wireless network in no time at all. But until then, I want to hear your feedback. What programs or commands are giving you warm fuzzies? Hit me up feedback at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show hack5 with more great stuff just like this i'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust hackers network group mm.